Hey beautiful people, it's Sherry Moulton back with another video. So I am making my bling bling painting with my homemade um, broken glass glitter. I just wanted to show um, when I did my painting of the canvases, I was trying to show you if you were having an issue getting this paint, let me get it so that you can read it, this paint that maybe this one could be a comparison. This one is a popular one as well when I'm selling. So I'll show you the difference before we get started. So this one is that one where nobody is, everyone's having a hard time getting it. So I'm not sure if you can, it's a little bit of a difference, but if you're looking for that color, this is the, the, um, the non-expensive one. It's still Rust-Oleum. This one is um, Rust-Oleum Tune Times and it is called Lagoon. This one is the Rust-Oleum Universal Metallic, the expensive one, and it is called um, Turquoise. So if you can't get that, I'm just trying to find a, a substitution for you, if that's the case. Anyway, here we go. I'm excited. So I have my glass of all my broken stuff. Now, when I came in my basement, my basement is cement floors. It broke perfect. So I think it was because I was trying to do it on wood and then trying to do it on a kitchen table doesn't work <laughs> so anyway with that being said and I have eyeglasses on so I wasn't paying attention so yes you should be wearing eyeglasses some protective gear when you're breaking up this glass so with that being said I have mixed up one ounce of resin and like I said on this 10 by 20 inch canvas I may use a half ounce okay so I always mix an ounce and if I have leftover I have little bits and things around here that I'll pour it into so with that being said I'll flip you down go through everything we're gonna use and hopefully it turns out amazing well anything sparkly is amazing right in my opinion anyways here we go my friends all right so we are using the glitter in spin it it is turquoise the amazing stuff we are using um say it right now sherry recollections bling fine glitter this one's chunky my apologies and recollection recollections in the um fine glitter bling and I have my homemade broken glass glitter and the paint that I used on this canvas was drum roll we have Rust-Oleum two times metallic aluminum and the Rust-Oleum's two times lagoon and again if you watch my video yesterday if you're having an issue with your um, nozzle clogging, all you have to do is soak it in some hot water or soak it in some acetone, which is also AKA nail polish remover, um, just to clean it out and then pop it back on and it should work per perfectly fine. Sorry, falling over my words because I'm trying to walk, talk too fast. So here we go. I'm going to spread my resin out I have ran out of my foam and again don't worry about all this stuff down here you're gonna cover it up so don't be too beat yourself up remember don't go over the edges unless you want the bling on the side but the only thing is I don't know how it would adhere Oh, what the heck, might as well put it all on there. There we go. I used a full ounce. 
So I have this silicone little thing I bought at the dollar store and I will use this instead of my my um, foam brush. I'm going to go to the edge. Bring it up. Just so you cover all of that imperfections. All the little spots. Because of my clogged, silly. All right, we're going to bring it up. Hopefully this won't be too thick. And I have a feeling it might be. I'm going to go... Remember, not on the edge. Well, you know what? That ain't working. But the other day when I was doing it at my trailer, I used a popsicle stick and it worked quite fine. You want to make sure it goes straight. And it's nice to get some long ones in there too, right? So you can bring it down as far as you want. Or not as far if you like just the center. Done. It's art is all up to you, my friends, because no matter what people say, if you like it in the end, my personal opinion, that's all that matters. I have to share with you because I think this is hilarious i get <laughs> it's not always nice comments sometimes and it doesn't bother me but i had to share this one with you because i thought it was hilarious if any of you know me i am i wear my heart on my sleeve and some things bother me but it was so funny I got a comment saying that this particular art is not art. Adolf Hitler made better art than me. I burst out laughing. I just thought it was the most funniest <laughs> thing ever. YouTube actually took it down, so I'd never really seen it, but I just thought it was funny. I was compared to Adolf Hitler because I couldn't do any art, so. It is what it is. Oh, here we go. Here comes the homemade bling. Now, the mirrors, some of them are big. And if you want to take the time to flip them over, see the other stuff I didn't, I never really, I should have my gloves on, I'm going to be told. Everyone, um, the other ones, I didn't really pay too much attention to flip over because you're getting all these white pieces. So I, um, gonna try to be mindful of that in this one because they're a little chunkier than what, ah, flip the big one over. But like I said, this is going to work if you people are not able to get it where you are and like I said, in Europe, you might be able to get that Ikea stuff. I'm going to put this on a plate because when I do it in my hand, all I'm getting is the... There. And then I can, I can get actual pieces of the glass as well. And for some reason, they all want to flip upside down. That's funny. So I might actually... Be mindful and take the time and put the glass in on its own. The mirror. And they're big pieces. So, and like I said, you can custom this to what, whatever you want. And be mindful. You will cut yourself. Because it is sharp. 
I have pieces embedded in my foot because I've been walking around, as you've seen in my spray painting video. I'm a barefoot kind of girl. So I may have to go get it taken out. It's been there for like three months. Now that's a bit big. I think I'll take that one off because that's huge. But like I said, if you're having an issue not being able, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to come back and flip over the glass pieces. If you're unable to get this, this would be perfect. You know, like you customize it, you make it smaller. If you're finding that um, you have a lot of dust, you could take a sieve or like a uh, colander. I think this, oops, I think this one would be perfect. You could shake it out and get rid of all of the excess stuff that you do not want in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute. If you don't wanna watch, you can fast forward, but I'm gonna take a second and flip over all of this, if I can. If I can. It's a nice day out there today. Nice and sunny. We're actually going to start getting some summer, I think. Ah. Which would be nice. There we go. I'm not going to go too crazy. If there's a few pieces that are flipped, that's it is what it is. I'm just going to try and get the big ones flipped over. And we're coming back with some glitter, so that'll cover up. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna come back with my big chunk, chunky glitter. Oh my goodness, I am going to use a baby wipe and take some of this off my hands here. Cause putting my hands in that glitter is gonna stick all over me. Let me just remove this big piece. That's a bit big too. All right, here we go. Hopefully, I'm gonna have it all over my hands, I know. Heavy down the middle. And like I said, I come up high just so, mm, you don't want clumps. Um, of glitter because to me that doesn't look very good so there we go that's enough of that i'm gonna have glitter all over me i guess i'll be the glitter queen for today all right let's get this on here i'm gonna turn you just a little and we're gonna come Remember, you want to cover all of that resin because you don't want any shiny pieces just kicking up because that just takes away from the painting. All right, now we're going to do the fine glitter. And I think I left my little package of the my dollar store fine glitter that I had upstairs. So we'll, we'll miss it today. We we'll, won't put it in there today. Oh, this is hilarious. I'm out of this. Let me see if I have more of that amongst my glitters. Oh, and I was at Michael's yesterday and I didn't realize I was out. That's funny. Oh, here, I've got some here. This spinet, they have it over in the section where they're doing the, um, um, 
people are doing the resin um, mugs, resin cups, and all that jazz. And that's where I got this from. And that's the exact same as what this is. And you get more for your money. And it's just as pretty. So I'm going to just use my hands. and So this one is called Polyester Glitter. And this one is Holographic Silver. <laughs> I tend to wipe my hands on my pants, so I'm not going to try and do that today. So, so that's that. I think it's going to turn out amazing. Like it's, look at all that. Ridiculous. And again, like I said, if you wanted to go with it, you know, it's a little bit brighter. This one here is a little bit more metallic-y bright. But if you're having a hard time, it's still a gorgeous color. So with that being said, I think that's it. I'm going to leave you. Love you. Love you and leave you, is that what they say? And I'll let it sit overnight. I personally, I'll, I'm a little later than what I normally am. I'm up so early. I usually get this kind of stuff done, bang, up, early, get it done around 8 o'clock in the morning, if not before. And then I leave it set all night, get up the next morning, and that's when I shake everything off. I usually leave it to 24 hours, but as long as the resin's kind of... I'm going to say maybe six hours, eight hours. You could do it sooner, but I figure why bother fussing with it? Let it sit, let it properly cure and all that fun stuff. So I wanted to show you, because in, in the other video, I mentioned that I spray painted it with that metallic silver. My hands are all glittered now, but this is what it turned out like. So... It's up to, I didn't like it, but it's up to, it's got that mirrored effect. So you could have that in as well. And I'll link that um, paint in this video. It is the um, mirror effect. It's expensive. It was half of this size and it was $20. So. My personal opinion is cheaper. Go to the dollar store, get a bunch of those little mirrors that they have over in the um, in the uh, candle sections, and have at it. Those little um, stones that I had broke up, they were also at the dollar store. They were a buck fifty for that big bag of like a big bag, and you can get them colored. I've seen them in blue. I've seen them in red. I've seen them. But do you think when I went to go find them, they didn't have the colored ones? So all I had was the, it's got like an opaque pearl iridescence on the outside of it. So, yeah. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to shut up because my husband says I have verbal diarrhea sometimes. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning to unveil this beauty. Bye-bye. Hello. We're back to scrape it off. I guess it would be shake, not scrape. So anyway, so I'm excited. We've got some chunky pieces, which I love. So I'm going to remove my, my little thingy dingy there. And I'm going to do this. We're going to, I got some of this blue, but that's fine. Woo I think this worked out really good. I quite enjoy the thickness of the some of the um, the chunky glitter and the glass is where some people don't but I do so but again you can make it smaller oh I'm impressed this is good this turned out pretty good actually look at that I am impressed and it's on there on there so again I'm gonna compare pardon me hello I'm just grabbing the other painting just wanted to compare again like I'm saying if you cannot find that um, this is the this one is the expensive paint 
So if you can't find that one, but this one's quite pretty as well. So they're both kind of turquoisey. This one's more of a, I guess, bluey tinge to it. This is more green. They're both pretty, but if you don't desire, if you don't have the means, that um, this one is the uh, the two times. This one's Lagoon. So there we go. We made a painting. See, this is chunky. Look how thick that is. Some of it's quite chunky. Some of it's quite chunky. And again, if someone's rubbing this on your wall, they shouldn't be is my personal opinion. It's a piece of art. It should be on the wall. They shouldn't be touching it. Because if you go into an art gallery, not that I'm comparing my stuff to an art gallery, that you are not touching it. So, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, thank you so, so much for watching. I have, I'm just baffled. I was checking my um, channel just before I came down. And... I am only 70 people away from 30, 30, 30, 30,000 people subscribed to my channel. That is ridiculous. I want to thank you all very, very much. I am just baffled of how it all happened. <laughs> Anyways, I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart, but just baffled. So anyways, with that being said, um, give the video a thumbs up hit the like button, hit that little bell so that you get notifications when I put up my exciting videos. And um, yeah, with that being said, hopefully have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. See you next time. Love yous. Bye.